slash off-road and yeah this is the meetup as you can see in the background we have a KDSS Land Cruiser uh, we also have a HBMC Y62 Patrol before we get into this I just want to t quickly tell you about a new Facebook group that I've created uh, Y62 Patrol Modified Action so this is a place to talk about specifically talk about all the modifications that you're thinking about doing want to do and, and a resource like if say if you want a new set of tires or a, um, I don't know a slide or something like that you can see what other people have posted pictures what they think of them um, and go from there so now we're through that go check that out after you've watched this video and um, let's get into some awesome wheeling it's very interesting watching that so what are we going to see today between these two cars what, what do you predict is going to happen between uh, my prediction is that the y62 sales will go that way <laughs> <laughs> all right and uh nick what do you reckon is going to happen Mate, you don't know until you get out there are you, are you gonna are you gonna back yourself in oh, i'm gonna give it a go <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll let the, let the best man win. That's it. <laughs> I'm sitting in a Land Cruiser with uh, Nick. Say hello, Nick. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> and we're heading, heading out to Menai. And uh, so just for the stats people out there, we're driving in a 2011 uh, GXL. That's the one. That's the one, yeah. And um, with the KDSS suspension. So this is the, hyd is it hydraulic? Yeah, something like that, something fancy. Something fancy. Um, I've got to say nice things about this car, otherwise I'm going to get left on the sidewalk. So uh, we're going to see what we're going to be looking at, like wheel droop, um, how much the wheel can get tucked up into the guard, um, you know, both being IFS, so it's going to be a good comparison actually. And uh, we'll see which one articulates more. So we've got fully independent suspension on the patrol whereas this has got a live axle rear so how much difference is that really going to make um, but the big question I guess is am I going to catch on fire for sitting in a Land Cruiser I'm in Matt Webber's car now Matt say hi hello everybody stunning day in Sydney it's a crack day, isn't it? So we're just heading out of air down, ready to go, but um, we need to just have a quick chat about the cars before we do this comparison. So we are running, what model is this? This is a 2017 TI. TI. With a on-track two inch lift. Okay. Uh, and some ATs, KO2 ATs in the 285-6520. So it gives me about 34.2 diameter. Uh, on 20 inch rims so uh, for what it is uh, it gets me most places so two inch lift uh, 34s um, just for comparison the Land Cruiser's on 33s also with a two inch lift um, both petrol yes okay so we've got petrol for petrol uh, tell me this is the HBMC suspension it is HBMC unlike the STL with just the coils and shocks yeah, yeah working Anthony um, and off-road it seems to uh, really do a good job so really what I'm gonna let him concentrate now but really what this comes down to is what's happening or how much droop we can get out of the front axle between the two IFS systems and what happens on the back end between a live axle and Nissan's huge enormous giant mongoose control arms um, and as a comparison all right let's get into it Thank you. 
so you're going to make it good. 